What's up everybody? This is Brian Pfeiffer, marketingmeathead.com. Today we're going to talk about the Google Ad Rank from A to Z and I'm going to show you how it all works. All right, welcome back. So if you've ever been on online, I'm sure you've been on Google and you've Googled something in your life and there's a lot of stuff going on behind the scenes. So I'm gonna to try to break it down to you so you can really understand how the uh, the ad rank works when you're getting ready to uh, place some PPC ads or even potentially some uh, you know Google Display ads, shopping ads, uh, whatever you're running on Google. There's two platforms in the world uh, that I would say that you, if you're gonna learn this year, you need to go all in on Google and Facebook because that's where most people are hanging out. And um, there's you know a lot of other platforms out there, but if you only have time to learn one or two, Google probably number one, Facebook number, number two, and uh, that's gonna help you hit your goals in your business. All right, so let's go ahead and get started today. Um, make sure you subscribe to this video and uh, like it if you like the content, and uh, share it with your friends if you find it valuable. I'm gonna go in pretty deep here. I did a lot of work to put this together today, so. All right, so let's talk about the uh, the top of the page uh, listings, okay? You can take a look here. Um, I searched uh, Las Vegas Plumbers. Now, these are, um, notice here, this little sponsored here. So these are all sponsored here in this little uh, three-pack. This is kind of a new thing. This is kind of like almost like a rich snippet three-pack. So basically, you have one, two, three, four, five ads on the top of the page. So basically, the whole top of the page before the map area here is all ads, okay? So depending on your ad rank, um, you're going to get one of these placements or down here on the lower end you have the, these three ads on the bottom of the page. Okay, this is all from the same page. I took screenshots to make it easy. All right, so depending on where you rank on Google's in Google's ad rank system, you'll get one of these placements if you're if you're placing ads. Now, if you're uh, not bidding high enough or your ad rank's too low, then potentially there's enough competition that you don't even get a spot on the homepage. Okay, you don't get to rank for that keyword when that someone searches that keyword at least that time. And uh, it's it's always like a real time bidding auction. So depending on what your um, you know I'll explain it more in this in this uh, slide. Depending on where you rank, uh, depending on you know when that person's searching. It, it's like it, it all kind of comes together at the second that someone searches that term and whatever your ad rank is that's where you appear on this page okay so I'm gonna kind of break it down to you how it all works and uh, hopefully you guys will learn a lot today all right so how is ad rank used um, ad rank is used by Google to determine the ad position in the search results I kind of just explain that um, the higher the ad ranks will mean uh, the higher the ad position versus your competitors okay so if, if you have higher ad rank you're gonna do better against your competitors you're gonna end up paying less and you're gonna get a better spot all right So basically, how is ad rank used? Okay, you're gonna create really relevant advertisements, okay? You're gonna, you wanna make sure if you're doing a, like I did in the example, Las Vegas plumbers, you're gonna wanna make sure you have an ad that talks about Las Vegas plumbers, okay? Because that makes really sense. You wanna use ad extensions very well. Now, ad extensions are gonna be relevant to, um, you know, the keyword that they're searching. So if you're looking for Las Vegas plumber, plumbers, you might want to have an extension that says 24 hour plumbing emergency service or something along those lines. Because very relevant. Because if you're searching for a Las Vegas plumber, you probably need something fairly quickly, you have an issue, okay? Um, and you also want to have a quality landing page based on the keywords people type in. So say someone searches for Las Vegas plumbers, if you talked about Las Vegas um, locksmiths on your um, landing page, that wouldn't be very relevant, okay? So you definitely want to have some text or some copy that solves the person's issue on the landing page. And I'm going to show you, show you more a little about that in a minute here. And you want to have very organized campaigns in your ads manager um, related to your keywords that is going to help your click-through rate increase over time. So, uh, for example, uh, in your in your um, ads, you want to have like ad groups that are very tightly um, very tightly positioned. I guess would be the, the word to the, the main keyword that you're going after. So, um, Las Vegas plumbers um, emergency. Las Vegas plumbers. Um, 24 hours that kind of stuff those are all words that are very similar okay so you want to keep those in, a, in like maybe one ad set and you want to bid on those keywords based on on, the, on that particular ad set and I'll explain more here in a minute all right so how is ad rank actually calculated your bid amount is uh, playing a role in this your ad quality relevance and extensions play a role in this um, your expected click-through rate which comes from your you know history of your ad account and your ad set and then uh, the landing page experience and the uh, context of the person search okay that these are all the things that kind of work together to uh, form your ad rank all right are you uh, creating really uh, relevant advertisements that are encouraging people to click that's the main question that um, you need to ask yourself okay 
Are you solving the person's problem? If they're searching for something on Google, they're obviously trying to find something or get an answer to a question. In most cases, they're trying to find something and they have a problem and you gotta solve it. So you have to have your advertisements be relative to what you're trying to solve, all right? All right, so let me give you an example here. This is an ad account that I'm running currently right now. And uh, you notice here I got a quality score of seven out of 10, seven out of 10, six out of 10, seven out of 10, which is pretty good. Um, anything above seven out of 10 is not too bad. Um, but you notice here there's three columns, and these are important when it comes to your ad ranking. Your expected CTR, which is your click-through rate, your ad relevance, and then your landing page experience, okay? Notice here I'm not doing so hot on my landing page experience. Your um, expected CTR, okay, is basically, I talked about this a second ago, you wanna have your um, ad groups and inside your campaigns very tightly knit and very relevant to the keyword that you're going after, okay? So your ad needs to kind of match the, uh, you know, the, the ad and the, and, the, and the keywords and the ads that need to be all, all very tightly knit. I kind of explained that a second ago, okay? And if you have um, your ads on point or your um, ad sets on point and your campaign very organized, you're going to get a higher CTR, okay? And that's very important. You can see here my CTR here. Some of these are pretty good. 15.71, that's not terrible. Uh, 9.92, 9 10 is pretty good. 10 is pretty good. Um, 6.8, this one could use a little bit of work. Your ad relevance means if you're searching Las Vegas plumbers, for example, your ad says Las Vegas plumbers or something of that nature, and it's very relevant to what the person is searching for. Okay, so that's going to be something that's fairly easy to control. If you know that they're going to be searching, in my case, and a lot of times for uh, Las Vegas bottle service, well, my ad should say bottle service in Las Vegas or Las Vegas bottle service for another ad or uh, bottle service deals in Las Vegas. You know, something along those lines and it's going to be very relevant to what the person's searching. Okay, so that's one's the easiest one to control. Okay, so it's not too hard to organize your ad sets and it's not too hard to, um, you know, work on your ad relevance based on the keywords you're searching. Now, the landing page experience, that's a little bit different, okay? You could be running traffic, PPC traffic to pages on your website. You could be running uh, PPC traffic to um, landing pages, okay? Basically just a landing page. And uh, what I'm trying to do right now to improve this is uh, I'm gonna be running some, I'm gonna be doing some tests running uh, certain keywords to certain pages on my website. And you can do that through dynamic uh, um, keyword targeting. and. Um, I'm also working on a bunch of new landing pages. I'm, I'm basically my, my VA and I are working on a ton of stuff to try to like make our actual landing pages more relevant to like a group of keywords. Say someone is searching for a bachelor party in Las Vegas. Well, I'm going to give them a landing page that's all about a bachelor party in Las Vegas. Okay. If they're searching for things to do for a bachelor party in Las Vegas, I'm going to give them a landing page about things to do for a bachelor party in Las Vegas. Okay. And that should improve my, um, landing page experience and then in turn probably get my quality score to go up even more. So you can definitely organize your ad sites and you can definitely make your ad relevant. Your landing page, that's, that's going to be a little bit more work. You got to put together a lot of uh, uh, either funnels or um, you got to do some work on your website, but you got to send them to somewhere more relevant to get your, um, you know, your average, you want to be above, at least average or above average on that uh, landing page experience. Okay, so I need some work there. All right, so let's talk about the um, the ad relevance. Uh, you know, like I said, let's recap on this. The ad relevance should be the um, easiest to optimize for. Uh, landing page shared a little tougher. Click funnels, WordPress. Um, you need to match up uh, the people's you know problems with offers. Basically, solve their problems. Click on the headline. Click on the ad. Go to the landing page. Uh, and then the CTR organizing campaigns might have to add a bit higher. Uh, might have to bid a bit higher um, in the beginning to get um, to improve the click-through rate. Okay, so you can play around with your enhanced bid strategies and whatnot, and have more uh, have a higher bid based on. Uh, I'm, I'm going to do a whole other video on, on bidding, but uh, you can have a higher bid based on what Google Keyword Planner tells you is um, you know the lowest bid and the highest bid. You want to put like a, a maybe a little bit higher bid on there to get some better click-through rate on your uh, ads in the beginning when you're first getting your ads set, or your ads and your ad manager going. All right, so like here's how it works, okay? So advertiser one uh, has an uh, ad rank of uh, 85, he's gonna get position one. Advertiser three has an ad rank of 35, he gets position three. And um, basically this guy here, he's struggling, he can't even get a, a spot on, the, on Google's homepage for that keyword because his ad rank's bad and um, you know he's not bidding high enough, okay? And the, like I said, the ad rank and the bid kind of all play in the same formula. 
All right, what is the ad rank formula? Um, you know, it, it, people could ask this question, but nobody knows the exact formula, okay? Maybe if you're the developer that developed the algorithm at Google, you might know the exact formula, but you're, that's probably the only guy on the planet. Um, and it's based on a number of factors um, for the user, uh, for useful, relevant, and targeting advertisements, okay? Keep in mind that um, Google is similar to Facebook. It's all about the user experience, and they're trying to give the user the best possible experience, okay? And if the user is searching for something, then Google's gonna try to put the ads just like they do with their organic rankings in front of that person to solve their problem. Okay, that's that's their whole business, um, you know, business plan and uh, you know the way that's what the, that's what they're there for. Okay, they're there to solve people's problems. Uh, value is placed on the ad quality, the average bids, uh, landing page um, quality, historical click through rate um, to come up with your ad, ad rank. So if you look at the score, you know, basically the score is combined up of the ad score, landing page score, uh, CTR score plus bid, and that equals your ad rank. Okay, so keep this in mind when you're building these ads out. This is all very relevant stuff, very important. So what is the ad rank threshold? Uh, this is a right from Google. This is a quote from them. This um, The reserve price for the ad, if your bid is lower than the threshold, your ad won't show. Okay, and if none of your competitors are eligible to show uh, the threshold, reserve price uh, is the pay for, for the click. So that, that basically is saying that if um, you're not, you know, there's no money left in your account and you're not bidding high enough, um, there's just no chance that Google's going to show your ad because it's, you know, they have a certain price that they're going to charge for those ads. I mean, they've kind of come up with like a uh, kind of a minimum, a viable uh, <laughs> uh, number that they're looking for to get that spot. Okay. So that's what um, that means. And uh, let's talk about how it would all work in, in terms of like, you know, let's break it down like per advertiser here. Okay. So say, for example, um, advertiser three over here. He's got a bid of five out of 25, okay, and his ad rank total is 45. Even if he bid like way higher and he was 25 out of 25, that would only put him at 65. He's still not gonna out um, rank these two advertisers because they have their ads, their landing page, and their CTR on point, okay? So even if you bid really high, that doesn't necessarily mean you're gonna get the top spot. And that's kind of important to know that, you know, this guy down here, he needs work on everything and uh, he might not even get hardly any positions, okay? He's going to get maybe crappy impressions, and he's just not going to get the uh, the good quality traffic. And certainly, when he does get um, <laughs> listed, it's not going to be in the top positions. Okay, so getting your ads, your landing page, and your CTR are all super important because you can see you can bid a lot less and uh, actually rank a lot higher. And that's you know at the end of the day, uh, if you're doing what I'm doing in this particular case, I'm running traffic year round. I'm running traffic seven days a week. It's 365 days a year. And I have, you know, over time, if I work to improve uh, my, you know, my ad rank quality and my all my quality scores, then I'm going to get a lot cheaper traffic and, you know, get a lot more business for a lot less price. And that's kind of the name of the game, okay? Higher auction time quality score lead to lower cost for your campaign. And if you maximize your ad quality landing page experience and create organized campaigns that lead to a high CTR, you will pay less per click than the other advertisers for higher positions. And that's really awesome, okay? That's exactly what you wanna be doing. You wanna pay less per click and get a higher ad position. Okay, your actual CPC is based on your ad rank and the competition, okay? All right, guys, so that was it. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed today's presentation about ad rank. If you did like this video, make sure you like it, and uh, make sure you subscribe to this channel, bang that notifications bell. I'm gonna be doing a whole series on Google AdWords. Um, if you know all about it already, well, I'm sorry, um, you know, it's, uh, it's probably a lot of old news to you, but a lot of people out there don't know about Google AdWords. I want to put together a real nice blog post. I'm going to show some of my results. And uh, I'm the Marketing Meathead. We'll talk to you later. Thank you.